Hello and welcome back to the first ones to watch of 2020. We hope you've had a lot of success with Football Index over the last few weeks. Now, as always, I'm joined by the one and only Sir Alan McAnally. Hi, Emma. How are we, Al? I'm brilliant. Well, is that to see me? Uh, no, it's good to be back though. <laughs> now remember, if you do fancy giving Football Index a try and you're not enjoying it within the first seven days, you can instant sell all your shares and email them to have your losses refunded up to £500. Let's get stuck in here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Who's our first one to watch? Well, with, with, listen, there's loads of players we could have, but I'm going to go for Bruno Fernandes because he's on the lips of everybody at Manchester United right now. Man United are in a position where I don't think they can let this boy go. Um, I was thinking about who we were going to talk about today, and if you think about the likes of Dybala and Wesley Schneider, who they were linked for two years to get, didn't actually get him. And they tried to get this boy in the summer, remember, Bruno Fernandes. And the likes of uh, Lewandowski, still not well, not still not Manchester United. He won't be there. I think they're in a position where they've got to make sure they get this boy to Manchester United. What sort of price are we looking at for it? Well, that's a good question because I think Sport and Lisbon want sixty million. I think Man United are maybe thinking forty-five. Listen, if they are meant to be one of the biggest clubs in the world, I think Ed Wood was put himself in a position where. The team are simply not good enough if they're going to challenge for top four at the moment. I think he's a must to bring in. He can score goals from free kicks. I think he's, he's scored four and four. He's been scoring goals for Portugal as well. Uh, the boy can play. And I think what he's going to bring for Manchester United is what they don't have at the moment. Where does he fit in then? What is it that they don't have? Well, middle of the, well I, got, I, I got told a start that I still can't believe this. That in the Premier League, uh, Jesse Lingard has not had an assist or a goal in one year. And that's, that's pretty bad for Jesse, and I know things haven't gone great for him. But, I mean, I would say in that position, midfield going forward, helping Rashford, etc., who's obviously injured after the, after the uh, um, yeah. back problem he had against uh, Wolverhampton. I just think he's in a position where they've got to bring him in. He really is, and I think he's one on Football Index, certainly one to watch. Yeah, I'm sure Man United fans will be hoping that this one comes off. Uh, anyone with a Bruno Fernandes in their portfolio for a while will have enjoyed the last few weeks. Uh, his price has increased dramatically from about £3 to a high of £4.59. Definitely one to watch in 2020. Absolutely. Right then, Al, who's our next one? Well, it's someone else who's... Really hot at the moment is Danny Ings. Uh, I remember Danny when he was at Burnley, when he at Liverpool, just didn't quite work out for him. Uh, Southampton picked him up and I was like, it's got to be a good sign. And then he got injured and Southampton were struggling badly. He gets back fit and all of a sudden Southampton are flying these scoring goals. So um, I think he's certainly one to watch in 2020 in Football Index, Danny Ings. There's been talk of him as well uh, in the Euro squad and mm -hmm. that Ings Vardy comparison. <laughs> Well, there is a comparison between both of them because they both score goals. They're both pretty quick and they know where, where the back of the net is. They, they're very similar. I'd say that maybe Jamie uh, certainly is a little bit quicker than Danny Ings. I play, Emma, I played with football players who, I, I promise you, you wouldn't let them take your dog for a walk. But if you put the ball in the box, they would score your goal. And Danny Ings is kind of like that. You're not asking them to take corners. You're not asking him to take free kicks. You're asking him to put the ball in the net, and he is brilliant at it. And he's certainly one that England and Gary Southgate have got to be thinking, this boy stays fit, and we don't have Harry Kane, and Rashford's, you know, with the stress he's under scoring goals for Manchester United, I think he's got to be an opportunity to be in the England squad, and therefore, you know, his football index might, have, as we said, one to watch in 2020. I'm just thinking you must have had to dig really deep into your memories there to remember when you played football. You? I did, yeah. <laughs> I'll send you the video. It's still in black and white right now. <laughs> Um, but obviously you mentioned there Kane with him being out mm. um, until potentially April I think it is isn't it with the injury yeah is he someone Danny Ings that you think Spurs should be looking at um, I <sighs> If, if Kane's out for a longer period than that, and let's fingers crossed for for, uh, he's, for Spurs, he's not. I don't think Mourinho. I don't think he'd be Mourinho's top ten Danny Ings to bring in. Really? Yeah, I, I really don't. Um, I think he'll be looking at even more expensive strikers. I mean, I think Southampton only spent twenty million in, in, in Danny Ings. How much would it cost now? Do you reckon to get him? Twenty one. <laughs> no more. No, no less. Uh, <laughs> if he keeps scoring goals, um, modern day prices, he can go for anything. But it's certainly been good business at the moment by Southampton if he keeps sticking the ball in the back of the net. I don't see Spurs going for Danny Ings, though, but certainly in Football Index, one to watch. Yeah, definitely. Good business for Southampton. Yeah. Good business for Football Index, as you mentioned there, Al. 
price has gone up an incredible pound mm. from 70p mm. to £1.70 in the last month. So anybody who predicted his recent run of form on the pitch, well done, good work. Mm, right then, final one to watch this yep. week, and I know that you're a fan of this man. Uh, yeah, Emmerich Aubameyang. I am. Uh, saw him loads of times when he was in uh, Dortmund in Germany, um, and since he came to this country, I've had a bet every year that he's going to finish top goal scorer. Wow. Yeah, he, listen, the, the boy is such a good player. Um, he's he's been a little up and down, at the, you know, with Arsenal, but, but probably because of their form hasn't been good as a team. But he's still what is he second in the shooting charts behind Jamie Vardy, uh, and I'm hoping he finishes top goal scorer this season. Thirty years old though. Yeah. So, although it pains me to say it, because if I was a footballer, I'd be almost on the wrong side of it. But he. You're he already on the wrong side of it. All right, Al. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, su I suppose if he'd been a few years younger, you'd certainly be thinking, I've got to have a Bama yeah. Yang on Football Index. And the fact that he is 30 years old, you know, just maybe... Um, I mean, there's still clubs looking at him, for goodness yeah. sake. You know, he's only got 18 months of his contract to go. The likes of Barca, where I thought he was actually maybe going to go before he actually went to Arsenal. Um, so they'll be interested in him for sure. But um, I think it'll be high on the agenda for Arsenal to try and keep him there. Can you think, if, if you were Aubameyang, is he going to want to stay at Arsenal or is he going to want to go somewhere where he could win trophies? Every player that puts the ball in the back of the net wants to win trophies and wants to be be the man that won the trophy. And Aubameyang is a little bit like that. Uh, I think it would be a big problem for Arsenal if they lost him. I think they should do their utmost to try and keep him. And maybe the fact that Arteta's there, he might convince him to stay. Um, they'll need to get him pretty quickly wrapped up in a contract. Or him in the gold Lamborghini that he keeps at the Emirates will be oh, uh, disappearing. Yeah, <laughs> you could be driving some of that. You keep you. I wouldn't trust you, myself. You keep in that little mini, you'll just find. But listen, he's, he is a top player. Absolutely. Will he stay at Arsenal? I, I genuinely can't answer the question, but I would like to hope that they can keep him there. Because uh, it means uh, I can keep losing my money on him to be top, <laughs> top goal scorer every year. Well, uh, his price has fluctuated quite a bit actually over the last month, but it's at a current low of two pound after his red card on Saturday. Yeah, he did, yeah. Naughty boy. Uh, his media dividend. We always talk about this, though, don't mm. we? The potential is worth considering if, like us, you expect him to feature heavily in the transfer rumours over the next couple of windows. His future is certainly one to watch in 2020. Right, that's it for the very first ones to watch Brilliant. in 2020. Alan McAnally, thank you very much. Thank for you very much. As always. Right, remember you must be over 18 to use Football <clears throat> Index and please always make sure that you are using it responsibly. We'll be back with you next week.